Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I have so many things to say. I'm going to show you my ballet pieces as well as how I accessorize sometimes and um, my favorite combinations with my ballet clothes. I feel like some of you guys are new. This whole month I was doing my like ballet content and I think I'm going to lean it on to next month. I'm just like running out of ideas so if you guys have any ideas let me know if you guys are from tiktok hello <laughs> i have so many people coming on from tiktok in my last video i kind of touched up on ballet core and the rise of ballet core or in one of my last videos as much as i like the aesthetic of ballet core and that's one of the reasons why i got into ballet one of the many reasons i do understand that not all ballerinas dress like this i'm not trying to be like perfect professional ballerina i'm trying to have fun i love fashion i love pink and i love pastels and i like looking cute that's kind of what my channel is and that's kind of what this video is we're gonna get into my very small actually ballet haul i think that's what i'm gonna name it and i'm gonna also try to film a tiktok on the side so i picked up this piece you guys are gonna be obsessed i'm gonna try to link it down below but if you know you know what this is oh i was gonna show you guys look at how cute this little top is freaking cute this was from the thrift store how like baby doll does this look okay so first things first are basics like our foundation that we build upon so i've got both of these leotards um this one was the one that i was having trouble finding most of everything that i'm wearing is capizio by the way this is a white leotard i was really trying to go for that natalie portman black swan look when i first started about like two-ish years ago technically i was really looking for like a v cut i'm not actually sure how this fits me because long story short basically last year i was diagnosed with cancer i had to have if you guys don't know what a mastectomy is because there's cancer in one of my breasts like they had to remove all of my breasts i just had too much cancer everywhere like cells everywhere so they removed the whole breast and that's what a mastectomy is and in addition to that they had to put an implant and to match the other side they put an implant so they had to like add it onto the other side as well you guys i have the i have this bra on but like if we have a nip slip minute accident like that's just I don't, this is a medium ballet sizing is so freaking weird i'm normally like a small to a medium before i had these new breasts i guess i'm normally like a small this is a medium and this fits me like i remember this fitting me so tight i would suggest like you go try on especially sorry i have like so much to say if you guys are new to ballet and you've never done ballet, ballet before and you're trying to get into it that's really the audience that i'm trying to reach I'm trying to inspire a lot of you guys to try ballet i would suggest that you go into a ballet shop and try on the leotards and such i have other videos where i talk about that and, and i go into more into depth about sizing and ballet not really being inclusive in that way unfortunately this is another one that i have this is in the large this fits me pretty well it's also pinched right here which i love that look it's like a lower back you guys can kind of see this is like a soft pink i also wanted one that had like the lines running down through it versus something like this that didn't really something that you guys ask me a lot about i swear i get questions in every single video of mine and all of my tiktoks i always get questions about it this is the one that i'm talking about that i always get questions about this is also capizio everything so far is capizio if you're new to ballet you're probably like what kind of brand these are too many brands so anyway that's where i got that from i use this a lot sometimes i don't like going into class like just bare naked i guess like obviously it's not naked but like i don't really like being exposed too much some days you know like some days you just don't feel cute so i definitely do like to wear that that those days or if i'm breaking out of my back i just like have sensitive skin i recently picked this up this is not capizio i was trying to find this on discount dance so if you guys don't know discount dance is basically a um online ballet dance shop they kind of come out with like different pieces and it's more affordable than like a regular ballet website they sometimes have some pieces that i like and sometimes they don't and again it's that thing of like i prefer to try it on in real life now that i know my sizing in capizio like now i can order more capizio things online and i'll feel more confident ordering things something i was looking for is i'm pretty sure this is called a shrug if not i'll put the right wording on the screen also i'll try to link this below and in case i forget you guys just remind me in the comments this literally was what i was looking for because of um black swan it's just really cute so natalie Portman in the in the movie <laughs> Okay, if you're a professional ballerina, I'm sure you're rolling your eyes right now because like it's not realistic And I've talked about that in my other videos, but still whatever So she had this like obsession with like scratching her back I think like out of stress and anxiety and being trying to be perfect, etc, etc Sometimes like I just have like really sensitive skin like I was saying specifically after I work out I'll get breakouts in the shape of the sports bra so this is perfect. Basically, that's what I use this for. Some of the reasons why you guys don't want to go to ballet, you feel like it kind of almost intimidated going to ballet as an adult 
for specific reasons like a lot of you guys in my comments say like body related issues we're all going through things sometimes when i'm breaking breaking out really bad i some days i just feel way more confident and i just wear you know my basic leotard and i don't care who sees what but some days i'm just like I don't want to be so exposed and I will say like no one's really judging you in class especially like if you guys have never been like I would suggest that you guys go but like really no one's judging you in class if that will make you a little bit more confident I feel like warm-ups really do I don't like to be exposed um, sometimes the reason why we will go if you if you go to like you know ballet a lot of dancers wear super tight form-fitting clothes which you don't have to honestly adult classes like you, you it's more laid back you're not there's not really a uniform most of the time it's easier for like your teacher to see your form and to be able to correct your form because they can actually see your body and see if you're like my issue right now is like sticking out my butt too too much whenever i do a plie honestly like there's no pressure to wear like super tight form-fitting clothes but if you want to next i have two tights i have the pink and the white a lot of you guys say that like pinks i always say this in every video but i just want to repeat this again like i say that like pinks is not actually like how real ballerina is kind of dress or whatever but i really like dressing that way so i will so this is like our pink and white tights these are both capizio i would suggest that you get yourself a few if you go often if you don't like i feel like you shouldn't spend your money on like ballet clothes because it can get expensive these do have a hole at the bottom i remember when i bought these that's what this is what the salesman said in the summer you can kind of take out your foot from the tights further into warm-ups i also bought these like cute little shorts that i use to sometimes put over you know my leotard so if i don't want to show up just in a leotard and tights sometimes we're all in our periods you guys got the drill these are knitted shorts these are so cute i think it's also Cap yep capizio as well i get these all at dorothy's dance shop this is another like little skirt that i i have it's a pink one i would like to get different colors but i love 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 this it is capizio as well i did have someone in my tiktok comment because i'm always trying to improve and learn some people are just really critical of like how i show up to dance even though i say like i'm new to this they seem to forget that like i don't have the experience that a lot of people do so i like when i get get tips but sometimes like people are just like kind of like kind of rude honestly someone did tell me though these kinds of skirts if i say this correctly these kinds kinds of skirts are kind of like something that you earn to get when you get on point but at the same time like that's cool like you know like that's an interesting history but as an adult do whatever you want if this makes you feel confident because you're just like not going bare and almost naked to <laughs> i'm just joking but almost naked to ballet like that's also cool too but now we're gonna go into like the sweaters and um other things like that that i wear on top of my clothes let's get into like warm-ups of warm-ups i don't know i like to wear like little lacy shirts like this this is like from victoria's secret i have other ones but i can't seem to find it and i'll just wear it just to break up kind of like the repetition that i typically wear with the base just throw on like a quick little short because i'm normally like drenched in sweat anyway or if it's like a little chillier a little chillier obviously not, like not super cold because i i mean i have like wool sweaters for that but if it's like a little chillier i will wear something like this like pink and blue they go super well together. Moon and Madison. So just like a cute little like, this reminds me like more of a cottage core ballet core. I don't even know how to describe this. This is like dollette kind of. This is so freaking cute. I got this at Macy's and it's just like a red little cute sweater. It kind of reminds me of like Lily Rose Depp. Like I could totally see her wearing these with her Levi's and like her red little flats that sometimes she wears, which are so cute. So if you don't feel comfortable going in just your leotards and tights, we have something like classic yoga pants so it'll be my leotard and then my classic yoga pants underneath and this will also look super duper cute and then of course we got our classic little and i already forgot the name someone's gonna correct me in the description i already know these are also capizio basically all of my dance wears basically capizio and these are so cute i want to get some gray ones as well and that'll be so so cute i've talked about how like sometimes i will wear like, one arm to keep to keep one leg it's because uh, that's what they did in, in, um, in black swan someone did tell me also in the comments that i should look into getting the um oh i think it's called trash um pants these kinds of pants the only reason why i haven't bought some yet and it's also like another form of warm-up to keep your body warm so you can stretch and etc etc the only reason why i haven't bought those yet is they're kind of expensive they're like 60 bucks each two last things which are my shoes which you guys have seen over and over two class i wear these typically honestly they're so cute uh, but i do wear these because they keep me warm and also like you want to go in different pairs of 
shoes when you're walking around outside of ballet class and then I was literally wearing my ballet flats out and about town and then going into class wearing them and my teacher was like we don't want to bring the dirt and you're kind of going to basically you don't want to dirty up the floor with like outside dirt my very controversial ballet flats if you guys are joining ballet um i would definitely suggest go to a ballet store they typically fit you and help you find the right shoe that fits your foot and you want it to be tight i'm learning you want it to be tight you don't want there to be any gaps so these are controversial because i found these when i when i started when i decided i was gonna go i got these at academy because it was just around and I'd never been to a dance shop before so I, I that's where I got these from these are like little kids shoes and they're like I guess like a leather I would suggest getting canvas also like the strings are really long and that's honestly why some of my tiktok videos are doing so well because like everyone in the comments is like you need to cut them or like they look hilarious other uh dancers say like definitely get a canvas other people do say that these are a little a little bit harder to move around but in a way it's like a challenge because it helps you get a, a stronger arch I hope I covered everything that you guys have in the comments hopefully I end up getting more um, leotards and so I have like a whole leotard collection but I don't really go that often I do use these clothes for yoga and other things like that I do like to repurpose it not just like buy it and never use it I really want to grow with the brand called Yumiko like hopefully I can one day partner with them because they do have the leotard um that we all saw on black swan it's also a great brand to invest in all of their leotards are custom made and um great quality both the two characters the female character they both wear leotards from there super duper cute i'm i really like i want to save up for that i really would love to one day partner with them i talked about in my last video that i want to kind of collaborate with other ballet brands like if they want to collaborate with me like reach out or whatever some of you guys are saying that i should reach out to the companies which is actually a really good idea i think i want to grow a little bit more on both tiktok and my Instagram. I do have a TikTok where I'm posting stuff and people, I, it's doing really well, which I'm surprised. I'll tell you to like post like five to seven TikToks a day. Okay, so like my video, I only post like once a week or something and like this video is doing so, so, so well. So definitely buy those, uh, the canvas shoes. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I'm going to keep making valet videos. You guys just like let me know what you guys want to see next. I will see you guys next Monday. Bye.